YouTube, it's Louis here, I hope you're all well. What an insane day for the entirety of crypto. I honestly think I'm gonna have a permanent scar from that. I think you guys will too. I've been here for four years uh, now and um, that was the crazy day I witnessed. I was here for the 2020 crash and this has just been insane. The amount of emotions we went through yesterday, the waking up to the dump, midway through the day, the amazing news and the market relief rallying, and <laughs> taking out the lows, guys. We actually did warn of this yesterday. So we were essentially saying that this, today's close is important. It was this specific candle yesterday. And uh, we never wanted to see 19.6K loss. If we see 19.6K loss, it's back to 18.6K with a much bigger risk of losing the lows, validating the bearish scenarios. If you understood that from yesterday's update, amazing. We'll go into the chart right now. We had some big wicks across all the cryptos. And I had to say last night before bed, I said I was going to be making a tweet uh, around midnight for the daily close. And I said, unfortunately, guys, sorry to say, but big wicks get filled. We will most likely visit these lows we've just made again. And we're seeing that for Bitcoin. We're seeing it for uh, Ethereum. We're seeing it for, uh, let's get to Quant as well. That was the big giveaway for me. When I saw the Quant chart, I knew for certain we were coming back down to the lows. Uh, yeah, I was getting a lot of love yesterday uh, from the Quant community. So thank you. But complete opposite from the HBAR community. Maybe those people... Uh, are not aware of the Bitcoin videos, although every single day I say make sure to check the Bitcoin update so you're as informed as possible. Why? Because Bitcoin is the most important crypto and everything follows Bitcoin. I was telling you over on HBAR as well that if, HBAR, if Bitcoin doesn't lose 18.6k, HBAR won't. Bitcoin lost 18.6k? So HBAR did. It's literally TA. It's as simple as that. People in the comments I was getting a lot of hate over on HBAR as well saying, you were calling for higher prices, just like we were calling for this uh, resistance. We tapped the, the first level of the gold uh, uh, resistance. You could have equally gone to the top. That's why we put the magnet here. It's just this area of resistance. At any moment, you can get rejected, whether that's at the lower point or at the top point. No one knows at that moment. You just need to wait for the reactions. And nothing before yesterday's candle, if we literally take this off, there was nothing bearish here. So to be bearish at that point would have not made sense because you have a bullish cross. But yeah, we need to uh, see that consistently hold within that next candle. Boom! <laughs> Flash crash. Absolutely insane emotions, guys. But at least we've always been prepared on the channel. We were constantly saying as long as we're above 18.6k, we are bullish. So that is right over here. The higher low was lost yesterday. It isn't the biggest of daily closes below. It's simply not even $100 below, a bit less, around, yeah, around $60 below. So of course, I wanna see another daily candle uh, close below this 18.6K. Uh, I wanna see a daily candle close below 18.1K because that's the new low that you set. If I'm measuring from the lowest point right there, to the highest point afterwards, you can see that that is the one fib level. So only once we're seeing daily candles close below this, we know, yes, we're gonna hit these uh, uh, 16K target over here, which we've uh, called for previously on the channel. If we were to ever see the closes below 18.6K, we were saying on the channel, this is when we're gonna expect 16K, 14K and 10K. However, as long as we're above 18.6K, I said I will be remaining bullish. The moment we're going below, I will flip bearish. We have gone below, of course. You have to say we, fl uh, we have flipped bearish. But again, wait. I am waiting for the weekly close. If we can see the weekly close above 18.1, that's a good first step. But really and truly, a, a weekly close above 18.6K, that is what we want to see going forward. If we do not get that, yes, we know we're going to 16K, 14K and 10K. You can bottom out at any of these, you can bottom out at 16K. You can bottom out at 14K, you can bottom out at 10K. No one knows, but you do have targets all the way down to 10K. Your stop-offs where we will, you know, chill out for a bit before potential continuation will be at 16K at 14K. But you can also get bounces from these areas to invalidate further upside. So you see here we have this 17.6K low, the lowest point. We made a new lower low yesterday, but did we close lower? than the lowest point, the, 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 the previous bottom. Did we close lower? No. So technically, guys, technically, TA is saying the bottom is still in. 
we actually retested the previous inverse head and shoulders neckline over here as support. But it's stupid if you believe that we're not filling in the wicks. That's why even before I went to bed, I told you guys, how many hours ago? Over 12 hours ago now, I told you that we will, as soon as that closed, I said, we're going back to the belows. It's happened. So that's like a, a liquidity grab essentially. And of course there were buy orders set there because people, you know, obviously most of the time, if you are to put a buy order, don't put it exactly on the low. You want to put it a few dollars above. Oh, yeah. Bitcoin is a, <laughs> more than a little few dollars, a few hundred dollars for Bitcoin, but smaller coins. Yeah. Just a few dollars like a quant, for example. So there's not <laughs> much more to say other than <laughs> We need to wait for these daily closes and weekly closes. You've got, just if you haven't understood, just literally go back uh, to the beginning of the video. I've said everything already. Um, again, we need to see a daily and a weekly close above 18.1, 18.6. So today I would like a, week, a daily close above 18.1. But again, for the end of the week, when Sunday hits midnight, when that becomes Monday, that's when I need to see uh, weekly candle closes, of course, above the, the bottom over here, 17.6K. But a, f a, a more bullish scenario, you know, to keep this high low intact, we need to see a weekly close above uh, this high low over here, 18.6K. We obviously made lower lows with the, the wicks. We haven't made lower lows of the bodies. You can see that body is actually higher than this one to the left. So that's why we need to see bodies closing below that wick. And that's how we know for certain, a, body candle close, a daily candle close below 18.1k is going to signal, yes, we're going to continue down. Okay, that's what we're specifically waiting for. However, if we do get a weekly close above either 18.1, more, a more, I much prefer if we saw a weekly close above 18.6k. <laughs> but for the bullish scenario, if you want to see this high, low reclaimed. Otherwise, you know what's going to happen. If we lose this neckline over here, we are going lower. So I had a lot of people, oh, guys, guys, I just want to say thank you to all the supporters and all, uh, for all the people that actually got in when we said uh, Quant was going to dump 50%, Quant dump 50%. So all those people are all happy, lovey-dovey, and they all got Quant cheaper exactly as predicted, exactly as we called. Um, but for, let's go over to, uh, we knew Quant was doing its own thing because it was ahead. It already met a specific resistance and started dumping for a good few weeks. It's been dumping for uh, four weeks now, Quant. But Bitcoin only dumped this, well, yesterday, <laughs> not, even, uh, not even more than one week. So before this dump, everything was bullish. So as we had broken out of this, I'm going to explain TA to you guys for the people that clearly don't understand TA in the HBAR comments. But I know most of you do, but sorry guys, I do have to explain to the idiots as well. Uh, we have a shoulder, a head, and a shoulder. This is an inverse head and shoulders pattern. Equally, forget the head and shoulders. We're looking at this resistance, we've got a descending resistance. And we have a support here, which is your neckline of the pattern, which is a descending triangle. We also have a head and shoulders, not the inverse head and shoulders, head and shoulders. We spoke about these patterns for months on end since, oh, obviously I have to wait for the right shoulder. So since September and for the descending triangle, since August, we've essentially been uh, saying that there is a potential if we ever do lose this higher low, we could be going to 14K and 10K. And these were the specific patterns, the head and shoulders target down to 14K, the descending triangle target, oh, sorry, just up to there, all the way down to 10 point. 7, 10.8K, I believe. Let's just double check. 10.76, 10.8K. Yeah. So if we see a daily candle close below 18.6K, we're going down there. So can you see that right there? That's a daily candle close below 18.6K. That there is a signal. Now you should expect 14K and 10K. But if you have a brain and you understand TA, you would realize that if you got back above this, you're no longer going to 10K and 14K. So it's equally the same with any other situation when we're going up. The price target is 30,000 as long as you keep this pattern valid. So although we had the descending triangle and you broke out right there, you saw a daily candle close below the neckline of the pattern, which means the pattern is valid. 
Now, if you're coming here into uh, crypto stocks or Forex and you want 100% guarantees, just fuck off, simple. There's no guarantees. That's what you need to understand with TA, technical analysis. You have patterns that have validation points and invalidation points. You, yeah, you guys are <laughs> noticing I'm getting pissed off and with those stupid comments from yesterday because we know a pattern could get invalidated at any moment. Right now, Bitcoin has not done that when, uh, 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 for the bullish case. You can see yesterday we held the neckline of this descending resistance as support. You see wicks were going up, now wicks are going down. So this is why we need to see another close above this red line. Just draw this line, it's simple. From this point, you don't need to say, oh, Louis, what price is the line at? No, forget oh, what price is the line at for support or resistance or the trend lines. You just look, look where Louis put the line on the points. He put it through on that point, on that point, through these points, through that point, through that point, through that point, through that point, through that point and that point. You don't need to know the prices. You just need to see where Louis put the line and then you do that on your own chart. Just like here. It doesn't matter that it's 18.6K. You have a low and this is a higher low. So I'm gonna draw a line on that higher low. Forget the price is 18.6K. This is the higher low. As long as I'm above this is bullish. If I lose it, it's bearish. It's like that, as simple as that. So now that we're outside of the uh, bearish pattern, so it should have gone down. We saw where it validated 10K because this was a descending triangle. It broke the neckline, 14K and 10K is happening. By swiftly coming back above, reclaiming that level, that's not happening anymore. That is still TA, it doesn't mean TA is garbage. But if you want, to, <laughs> if you understand TA, that is a part of TA. If you don't understand that, then you don't understand, get away from the charts. You need to go learn it from someone, please. Please don't try and think that you know everything. There's validation points and invalidation points. So right now, we're still going to 30K as long as we're above this red line. If we close, like look right now, are we below the red line? Yes. Did we close yesterday below it? No. So yesterday's close was above, so it's still holding its support, right? So it still means, even though we were at 21.5K and yesterday we went all the way down to 17.1K, crazy dump, I understand that guys. But if you're not below this red line, you can't say we've invalidated 30K because technically it's still valid. That's what technical analysis is, guys. So right now you're below. If in 11 hours and a half, you are here below 18.1K, then yes, well done. We're no longer going to 30K, I'll be the first to tell you. But do you understand trading and TA, so TA does work. It's just you need to understand what TA is in the first place and you need to understand that nothing here is 100%. The quicker you get your heads around that, the better or the quicker you'll master this essentially. You will understand that uh, fake outs, it's part and parcel of TA. You need to take it into account with your TA. That's why we say, okay, if we see a daily candle close above this level over here, we're going to validate the, the, the target. Uh, let's just say we've got a double bottom over here. This is your neckline. If we see a daily candle close above this, we're going up to the double bottom target. However, if we see a daily candle close below it again, then you've invalidated the pattern. So this is essentially what we've been seeing across not Bitcoin for the moment, it could be with today's uh, daily candle close, of, of course, and that we wanna wait for the weekly close. But this is what happened with HBAR. We had a specific target higher because it was holding the bullish structure. However, if that structure is lost and if you invalidate a pattern, that scenario is no longer happening. And the quicker you understand that, the quicker you'll master TA. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Thank you for the continued support. Uh, we, we, we did make everyone aware of this yesterday over on, the, uh, over on the Twitter and even in the Bitcoin video. So well done if you did listen. Um, always looking at both scenarios, okay? okay? As long as we're above this, we're bullish. The moment you're losing that, we're bearish. We closed at 18.5K today. That's why we're now waiting for the daily and the weekly close. We wanna see the daily today close above 18.1K, but we also need to see the daily close above this red descending line. Don't forget, I also did warn you guys. Oh, does it, oh here we go. Sorry to say, but the big wicks did get uh, will get filled, and we're seeing that today. So, yeah, if you've taken action on that, amazing. Of course, it's not likely that we're going to be flying to the moon in the next couple of months or so. It's going to take a long time now because, yeah, this is gonna, as I said at the beginning of the video, permanent scars have been left from this whatever's gone on with this crazy scam industry. <laughs>
Thank you guys, like, subscribe and comment, and as always, peace.